All right, what's going on everybody? It's Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So I just wanted to make this video to give everyone playing Dead Space Remake um, a few hints and a strategy um, that OG Dead Space players used to get more money in order to get more nodes so that they can upgrade their weapons um, faster and earlier in the game. So I'm right now I'm at chapter five and this is my plasma cutter right now. Um, and honestly, I've had it like this since chapter three or the uh, the end of chapter three, the beginning of chapter four. And I had all this, uh, you know, upgraded, which is making it really easy for me to uh, kill enemies. Because at the beginning of the game, when you use the plasma cutter, you can tell it takes a lot of shots. I am playing on hard difficulty, uh, by the way. So pretty much um, if you, and I'll show you, uh, my suit I haven't I've only upgraded the first HP slot in my suit and a few um, slots in the pulse rifle but I've mainly been focusing on the plasma rifle the plasma cutter the plasma cutter is essentially the best gun in the game and that's what you want to focus on upgrading first let's make that clear everything else is secondary but weapons are first focus on upgrading your weapons do not buy the suit in the store early do not use the nodes to uh, upgrade your suit a whole lot, unless it's the first HP um, node like I did, it's unnecessary, right? Dead Space is very generous when it comes to item drops. So just remember to stomp all your enemies uh, to get the items that they, uh, that they provide, right? All right, so here I am at the store, right? So this is my shop right now. So as you can see, the first suit is, is 10K. The second suit is, is 20k and the third suit is going to be 30k, I believe. I can't remember if there's a fourth. I don't think there's a fourth, right? Um, and like I said, I'm at chapter five. So here's here's why it makes no sense. So you, if you spend 10k on the first suit, you're going to get the second suit probably pretty soon after, um, which is 20k. And then if you buy both of these, you're going to be wasting 30k. And then when you get to the third suit, you're, you're going to spend another 30k, which is going to be 60k in total which is a waste because you're only going to be using one of these uh, armors, obviously. Now, even though it does give you um, more uh, increased inventory slot and uh, a, a, a bit more armor, this is why it's pointless. Look at my, let me go, this is my inventory, right? I have two health packs right here, and this is my storage. Look how generous Dead Space is when it comes to health packs and other items just in general. This is why it's pointless for you to need a suit for increased HP because the game is going to continue to give you health pack, uh, health if you if you get hurt. So it's it's pointless. The game just drops them everywhere. So that's why you got to remember to stomp them bodies. And then even though the suit, as I said, also gives you uh, bigger inventory slots, the game literally puts these stores everywhere. There's checkpoints and save points everywhere. There's these stores everywhere. So you can you always have a place to to put away your items um, in your inventory and store them. So you don't really need that big inventory slot. It's a waste of money. So don't do it. Focus that money on buying nodes, power nodes in the store so you can put that into your weapons. That's what you, you need to do. Um, always be on the lookout for uh, the semiconductors. So be thorough when you're exploring because the semiconductors are literally only made to sell. And, and get more money anytime you get to one of these stores around the game and you're close to 10 you're close to 10k sell something you don't need um that you're probably going to get more of uh and then just get to the 10k and spend that money on a power node let's say i was at 8,000 right now i'm at 14 um i'm at 14 right now but let's say i wanted to you know get to 20 you know to buy two power nodes and i already have two on me I could sell, I could literally just sell this uh, this large med pack and I would pretty much be at 20K. So now I'm gonna, now I could have, now I could buy two more nodes and I could fill two more slots in, in, in my weapons, right? So that's how you speed up the process of buying power nodes. So that goes into my next point. Um, this is a strategy that uh, people used in the original Dead Space game. So Dead Space only gives you ammo based on what weapons you have on you. Okay, so that's what weapons you have in the inventory, right? So I, I keep my plasma uh, cutter, um, the, uh, the, the contact beam, and the pulse rifle. 
I know it's tempting, but you don't need all the weapons it they, they give you, right? You don't, it's pointless to fill up all, all to, to have four weapons on you. You really only need the plasma cutter and a backup just in case, right? So you really only need the, the plasma cutter, and that's why I keep the pulse rifle. The reason I keep the contact beam on me, even though it is a very powerful weapon, these are arguably the three best guns in the game, the reason why you keep the contact beam is because um, you, the 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 ammo for the contact beam you can sell it for for a lot of money in the store. So this is not even a full pack of ammo for the contact beam. When it's full, I think at 15, it sells for 3k. So reminder, as I said, the game only gives you ammo for the weapons you have on you. So you're really only keeping the contact beam on you so you can get the ammo for it and then sell it at the store hopefully for for 3000. And you keep, and in the original game, what we would do is keep selling the contact beam uh, ammo and then use that money to buy more power nodes. It's a great strategy. So the contact beam energy that you're selling and using that money to buy power nodes in the store combined with the power nodes that you find around the games and make sure you don't miss those, those two combined will give you plenty of power nodes to upgrade your weapons, which is, like I said, the most important thing. And do not upgrade your suit do not buy the suit don't buy it is no reason you should have to buy anything in this shop outside of like these uh these specific upgrades eventually like these flamethrower upgrades to unlock uh part of the the node tree you can you know you can obviously there's no way around that but you shouldn't be buying anything else like ammo or supplies or nothing like that it's the game is way too generous for you to be doing that so I hope this helps. Um, try out this strategy. It's uh, it's it's really helpful. All right. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.